Hey traders, John Howell here. Today, I wanted something, uh, I want to show you uh, the, there's, out of all the indices, right, I've got the NASDAQ, Dow, Russell, S&P 500. One of the indices right now is lagging, but I believe that lagging or that one that really not, it's actually, it's actually probably the market that most people are not talking about. I believe there's a bit of a gold nugget in this investment here or in this market here in one of the indices that I'm about to share with you. And I'm going to show you exactly why I'm looking at this. I'm going to show you, look at comparisons and, and I think you're going to really, really, really enjoy this. So let's go straight into it, guys. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty, traders. So if you do need some help with your trading, that first link in the description there guys i'm giving away free access to my complete trading course there um, i used to charge for that but you can get free access to it if you want if you do need some help in that trading course guys you're going to learn everything from the biggest mistakes you're making right now to the top chart rating techniques that's been working since the 1950s um, you know my trading system and so much more it's going to really really help you out so make sure you grab access to that guys so Let's actually, I want to share this with you. So I was, I was doing some analysis recently, okay? And I shared this actually with my with my private clients um, recently because I'm with my private clients every single day, right? Trading and helping and coaching them every single day. And um, and so one thing, one thing that I like to do is after the market closes and after my personal trading is done, I spend sometimes up to an hour just going over charts, going over different things, coaching, helping them every single day, right? Because um, that's what my coaching program is all about. It's not just an educational program. I, I believe in intense hand-holding every day so you can get better every single day, right? Um, and so at, at the end of, uh, when the market closed on Friday, um, which was Saturday morning here in Australia, but Friday over in America, I spent an hour going over some really amazing stuff. And one of the things I was showing them with them is, like, okay, guys, I was showing them that um, and answering their questions and I was showing them this here, right? So check this out. So I was looking at most of my charts that I look at, okay, I use this, I use this. Let's, let's actually go to, I think it's, Scaling, right? So scaling, yeah. So scaling, um, I, I use this arithmetic, arithmetic? Oh, I think that's how you say it anyway, right? So I use this sort of on the, I use this sort of uh, way of actually looking at the markets there, right? But there is a chart that comes up and I, st and so most of my charts I use this here and that's whenever I'm trading guys, most of my charts I use that. And I recommend if you're gonna use one or the other, just use one or the other consistently within your, within your trading, okay? Um, and that's that's what I like to do with, with my trading. All my other charts that I uh, that I use, um, you know, is is using that type of scale. But I was doing some analysis recently and looking at this chart here. Now this is a monthly chart we're looking at here right now, guys, on the um, on the uh, on on the Dow Jones. Okay. Now here's the thing. Um, I was looking at this and. Uh, I, I saw this from a log scale, okay? From a log scale, I'm just looking at different different charts, seeing seeing what I can see from the actual market perspective, right? Now let's actually let's actually build some scenarios. Let's actually build something here, um, and this is actually going to really help you with your trading as well too. What I personally like to do with with my actual trading setup, again, you can I'm teaching you that for free in the actual trading course. I, there's like an, a video that goes for like an hour long, walking you through step by step by step in that trading course. Uh, um, on top of all the other stuff you get as well too. Um, so I teach you for free guys, just get the free help, okay? Um, the thing that I really like to do is I like to trade when there's a strong trend, right? Because when there's strong trend, there's strong momentum, right? If there's a strong trend. So what does strong trend actually mean in the markets? So you've got trend analysis, right? So you've got, tr what is, what is tr a trend is what? Making higher lows, okay, cool. Making higher lows. Uh, up, down, high, low, high. That's 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 what's called a that's that, that's what's called a trend, right? The market's in control. Now, one thing that I like to do, and what I believe is the most important thing to do, is is to make sure the market is in an established trend first before you enter a trade. Why? Because if the market is there's no trend at all, then this is when you start to get chewed up, chopped out, so on and so forth, right? So if I bring up this weekly chart here. If I utilize, if I'm utilizing just this chart here as an example, right? 
if you were trying to jump in and try to capitalize on a really big move, because that's what that's the name of the game, right, guys? Like, you, you know yourself. Within my trading, and I'm, I'm always talking with my clients every day, is I'm trying to I'm trying to show them the setups that have potential of making a really big move, right? Because that's what we want. We want we want to have trades that have the potential of making a good move over the course of what two, three, four, five weeks, six weeks, a couple of months. Right, we want to capture big moves. So therefore, when we do have losses, we can try to have that. It's not always easy. It's easier said than done, right? But we always want to try to establish these things where they can have big moves. So as you can see through here, there was really no trend in place. Now I'm just utilizing this as, as an example, but trying to jump on something that's actually making trying to make a big move, you're going to get chopped up through here. So whenever the market's just doing this through like this, like this here, there's really no trend, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm utilizing this and establishing this on the first because I always like to trade with a trend first. So therefore I have a really good high probability of having a successful trade. And also, uh, as you do know, right, when, it, when whenever there is a trend, right, up, down, up, down, up, so on and so forth, right? You know, when there is a trend, there's uh, the big moves are obviously going with the trend. So that's the first thing. But then there's a thing called strong trend, okay? Strong trend. Now, what is strong trend? Strong trend is a 50% or less of a retracement and then a continuation. That's actually a strong trend. And so, so and actually, let me, let me just draw this here for you, okay? So if the market goes up and we have, say, this is the 50 to 60% Fibonacci retracement, if the market does come back down here, Generally around the 50, this, if this is the 50 level here, 50, and this is the 61.8 or the 62, right? Generally speaking, if the market comes back down to this level here and holds, and then that's actually, that's actually, that's, that's, what's, called, that's what's called a strong trend overall, right? Very, very, very strong trend. Now, what I was looking at here was this, okay? Check this out. I think you're gonna really like this. I was actually looking at the monthly charts, which I don't normally do, right? But I was, recently I was in the mood of just, scaling the internet, just seeing what the market's gonna do, right? Just seeing that. Now again, guys, this is a monthly chart. Monthly. It doesn't mean what's gonna happen tomorrow. And as you know, we could have one down week and one really bullish week within that month, right? A week here. Or we could have two weeks of, two weeks of really weakness within that month and a very strong bullish week. And the monthly actually looks pretty good. Right, so just understand this in the context of what I'm trying to share with you here, okay? I'm trying to share some, some big picture analysis of where things may be going to. So, Dow Jones, what do we have here? So if we start to look at the, 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 last, the last movement that we've actually had here, the last swing, we can see what? We can see we had a move up from here, and then we've had a move down, right? And now we've had a move up. So, last swing was what? That's Fibonacci from low to high, and look at this here, 50% or less, strong trend, right? Now this is overall, that's the reason why, like, okay, and this is a monthly chart here, guys. Um, it's not even a weekly chart. So just understand this is a big, this is the big picture concept, right? Um, Cause you're looking at the monthly charts. Um, so the market's actually pulled back to here, but check this out. This is where it gets really cool, okay? So it pulled, it pulled back really, really, really cool. It pulled back really all, uh, to the 50% or less and then continued up. Now, what they say, right, what they say is that if the market does do that 50% or less, and you can see back from back here as well too, that there to that there, right, as you can see, right, it came down, this is actually less than 50%, held less than 50% in continuation. Now, there's, if we're trying to see, okay, if, if the market's 50% or less, like it did back here, or if I bring it from this, um, again, absolute low, the the vid low, okay, the vid low. I'm saying vid, guys, because I just don't want to get banned. Um, but low of the vid and high of the vid, uh, sorry, low of the vid, and then that, that high there came down 50% or less, and then continued up. Now, if we're trying to, like a, if that's the case, where is this, where could we see this actually having a target of getting to? Using the price action here. And this is where it gets really, really awesome, all right? So there's a thing called a one-to-one -one projection. Right, there's, there's this thing called an extension tool, Fibonacci projection. And what you do is you just measure the low 
and you measure the high up here, right? So that's the first low to high. And then you're gonna measure the obviously the, the retracement there. So this tells us here that overall, the Dow Jones looks like it could be making its way up to 49 and possibly even extended to the 50,000 level. Pretty awesome, right? Now again, guys, this that that there may take 12 months to happen, right? Not one, <laughs> not one month. <laughs> I'm not gonna call that. How it happens, I don't know. But one thing, one thing I do know is we're starting to see what? Easy, e Tiger. We are starting to see that there is some sort of trend in place as well too. So like there's something like that going on. You see that through there, right? So there could be, if we do, just by looking at this level through here, if we do, just looking at some sort of short-term analysis, if we do continue sideways for another few more months, like this is, this is right now, this is what, June. If we have that, and then we could have, that's June, this could be July, this could be August, August could come down like that and have a bounce like that. It may actually happen like that, because I'm actually expecting myself, guys, I'm actually expecting what? A good second half of this year. So, ooh, you see that pattern there, right? See the pattern there? Ooh, I like that. Ooh, okay. So, so here the noises today. So low, high, low. See, see what I'm doing here, guys? I'm building a picture here, okay? Of what we, now why is this important? The reason why this is important to us is what? Because then when I'm actually looking for really good trading setups on the daily, on the daily, that could have potentially making a big move, I now see where this market could go, okay? Um, and that's when you start to look at the weekly charts, Right, the, this is the weekly chart here on the Dow Jones. This is the daily chart here on the Dow Jones. And you start to see, okay, what could be coming up here soon that I need to keep an eye alert at for? Because one thing I've learned, guys, is that it's the study of this thing here and watching things unfold, sometimes for a couple of months, and developing what I call this sideways period. When you start to watch these things unfold, right? And watch it and watch it and watch it. I found when you start to watch these things unfold, you could be watching this for another month or two and then bam, get a really strong breakout. So this actually could just continue. Again, this is a weekly chart here, guys, right? So this could just continue this sideways movement from here. It may even drop a little bit. So this may, again, this may go down here, up here like that, and then maybe get another breakout through here. Ooh, what does that mean? If I can get like a really good daily, uh, an actual trading setup for me, right? And I get this sort of action happening, guess what? I could be jumping in on the next parabolic move. But parabolic moves tend to happen, or really, really big moves tend to happen when, right? I'm going deep on your all and on this system here, right? Like this is just, this is so powerful here, guys, right? Because when you start to understand this, one, you can step back and just be patient, understand that it generally, it, it, for really, really, really big moves, like that gold, like that gold position or that gold position, that gold trade, why was gold such a, why did gold have such a really big move, right? Let's actually go to the gold chart. I'm trying to share with you guys how to understand this context of, of, of okay, uh, if you want to jump on things that have big moves, they big moves tend to happen when we have lots of many, many months of sideways movement, and then we get big breakouts, okay? So if I go to the actual, um, the gold chart, why, look at this here. See this here? Look at all this, look at all this sideways period through here before what? Bef that, that there is many months, by the way. This is the, this, this is all of, this is December, this is January, this is three months of doing nothing. Now on the back of that, if I bring up the weekly chart, why did gold have a big breakout? And why do I believe gold has a lot more upside to come? Because look at this here, right? We actually literally did nothing for many years, many years, and now gold is just breaking out after many years. What does that mean? Gold's now in a strong trend. And even though we, for the last couple of months we're developing this sideways period, we're getting the, we could get a pullback, right? Guess what? There's a lot more upside to come in gold. Now, how far the drop happens, we just don't know, right? This is, this is remember guys, this is more like big picture analysis for you. Happy weekend to everyone, guys. Big picture analysis for you guys, okay? So, we can see that through there. So, the thing that I'm looking out for myself, and this is just so powerful, guys. It's so, so, so powerful. Because I'm always looking for that pattern, but once again, look at this here. If you start to see, whenever the market does this, and again, this is weekly bars here. So this here was, uh, this, this overall pattern here 
was three to four months overall of sideways movement here. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about there. So if I go back to the Dow Jones chart, you can see here now we've actually had what? We've actually had about two months here. If we can continue developing this pattern here, right? I'm telling you right now, guys, this is just, you, you want to jump on the next big move? This is how you jump on the next big move by understanding this concept of what's called um, price and time, right? And time, what is time? Time is the sideways movement, right? Now, what is time? Time to me is when the market's refueling to go for another move. Because generally, when we, to, to get a really big move, we need to have what? We need to have a lot of time of refueling so the refuel is full and therefore we're ready to go for a big move. Makes sense? It's such a, such a powerful concept. And that's the reason why um, my most successful trade this year was my gold trade, right? Multiple, multiple 100% return on that trade of the, of the course of five, six weeks. Why was that? Because we had a lot of fuel before the breakout, okay? Really, 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 a lot of fuel, which is time. What is time? Time to me is really when the market's doing this here. This is now building time. And if we can build more time for another couple of months and then start to see a breakout, we could quite possibly be going from 40,000 to 50,000 in the in the course of what? A couple of month period. This is where it's so powerful, guys, right? Big trades, if you want to jump on really big trades, right? It's just, it's just analyzing this stuff here and then knowing this in the back of my mind, now it's my job, what? To be patient and let this thing unfold, right? Now this, I'm just talking about the Dow Jones here, right? There's thousands of stocks that I that I look at every single day, right? So this is just the Dow Jones. It's so in the back of my, my, my job is as I'm doing my trading and doing some other trading on the, on the, on the individual stocks and so on and so forth, I'm watching to see these other big setups that are appearing, right? So that's the Dow Jones there. Let's go back to the monthly charts. So utilizing that exact same thing, and there we go, we could actually be seeing a nice, good, funky, dunky movement to the upside from here. Beautiful. Now guys, the thing for me when it comes to the Dow Jones, the reason why I'm so excited for the Dow Jones is what? What is this here? So when the market has a really big move to the upside, that's called what? Price. Now what is price? Price is when the market, when the market has a big move up, it's using energy, right, to do that. Because remember when the market's going sideways and it's not doing much, guess what? It's now what? It's now building a base, which is refueling to go for another move. So when the market's moving up or down very strongly, we're using energy, so looking about an energy source here, right? And then what happens is that when the market does start to really pull back overall, or we start to go sideways for a long period of time, it's building a base for us to have a really big move to the upside. Because look at this here. If I bring up this weekly chart here, why did, let's actually go back to when, remember what, what, when Trump actually was elected, why did we have such an incredible big bull market? Was it because Trump was so amazing and, and, and you know, the, the, the Trump effect, the, the, the Trump effect of the big bull market? Well, let's actually look at this from the context, right? What, Donald Trump became elected in what? Late 2016, early 2017, which was what? Right here, right? Before the big bull market. Let's actually bring this back to context of technical analysis, okay? So this is where, guys, um, for me, I need to be able to understand something on the markets to be able to see this here, right? So as the market is making a very big move to the upside, that's what? That's called price. That's now price is using a lot of energy, right? So if the market's been using a lot of energy for quite some time, is it ready for that next big move? Possibly not. Then look what happened here. Look at all this sideways movement. Now that doesn't look like much, but that was over two years of the market just what? Ranging sideways. What is the ranging sideways? It's building base, it's building energy, right? You see this and go look at any market guys, right? Go look at any market. Just, you know, like even look at the, well, look at silver and gold before that big drop. As I'm doing this recording for you right now, Go look at silver and gold on a shorter time frame chart. The 15 minute chart was what? Did nothing for quite a bit of time. And then we had a big move. It's the same concept, right? It's the same, it's the same, 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 same concept. So if you're intraday trading and you trade the five minute chart, guess what? Wait for a five minute base and then look for a good entry signal off that base. Um, it's such a powerful, powerful concept, okay? So sideways, this is now what? This is now building a lot of fuel and then suddenly Trump won and Trump had the, oh, the stock market. The, the chart was telling us, right, when we do break out, we're getting ready for a big move. Why? Because we've just done two years of sideways movement. Now we're getting ready to break out, have another move. 
right? Because the market does, market goes in these phases, right? The market doesn't just go sideways. Now, how big of the, uh, yeah, the market doesn't just go sideways, right? The market will go sideways for a while and then it'll break out and trend, right? Then it'll go sideways for a while and it'll break out and trend. And it could be down, it could be up, right? The trend log, we don't know. But the big, the thing here is that we're building a lot of fuel for the market to start to see this really, really nice moves, right? Is it okay if I go deep on you all right now? So it's just, it's just so, such a powerful concept here. So once again, go back to the Dow Jones. Right now, in the back of my mind, I'm like, if we do continue doing really not much within this box, right? Within the box for the next couple of months, and then maybe around August, maybe September, we start to get the next breakout above the 40 level. What do you think is coming? See, see how amazing this stuff is, guys, right? And it's just really, really simple, right? It's really, really simple. So that's the Dow Jones. <laughs> I just went deep on your awe on the just the Dow Jones. <laughs> Can I spend another 20 minutes on each every single market? But the purpose of me saying this, guys, is that this is what I do every single day. And understanding this concept in that free trading course, guys, I go through two or three videos going deep into this price and time technique. So you can understand how to apply this to your own trading. Because once you understand this stuff, guys, it becomes so, so powerful because you get what? You get a good price move for a while. And then after a while, you get a time phase where it just rebuilds. And then we're getting ready for another big move up. And you get you get the point, right? You get the point. So that's the Dow Jones. Let's go look at the NASDAQ. Let's actually just really simplify the process for the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ, I've already done the NASDAQ, as you can see. This level here was a 50 to 60% retracement, right? Same thing, low to high. As you can see, I'm doing my analysis here, low to high. Market pulled back to where? 50 to 60% and then bounced whoosh, to the upside, right? The NASDAQ. So it then bounced. So if we're using a one to one projection, as you can see, so let me actually take this off the screen. A one to one projection would be what? which a one-to-one -one projection just simply means from that low point down there to this high point using this chart here, it looks like around 20,000 that the NASDAQ could be getting ready to have a move to, possibly even this year, right? And then you can start, so that's, this is a monthly chart here, guys. And then, so then if I utilize that as the monthly bar there, I also can see that there's some sort of short term, short, I say short term, this is a monthly chart here, by the way. So it's short term, uh, um, this, this short term trend here, line. What am I looking for? Ah, right. Now, the NASDAQ is actually still in a very strong upward trend, as you can see. Look at this here, very strong upward trend, right? On this weekly chart. So it may continue up from here, guys, or it may be getting ready for having have a nice move here. But look at this here. This very big move came off the back of what? See this here? Look at this here. This is where, guys, for me personally, whenever I see a strong trend up, I wait for this period here first, and then I'm looking to enter here. I wait for this period here first, and then I look to enter here. Okay, so that's the that's the that's the that's the Nasdaq. Then now look at the S and P 500. All right, the same thing here. Right, look at this here. It's the same. Now we're gonna I'm gonna speed up the actual um, learnings here, but the same thing. Right, so this low to, low to high point. What did we get? Look at that there. That low to high point from the vid situation to the high of the vid boom. Um, there you go, vid low, vid boom, right? 50% smack on. Ooh, what does that mean? Shh. This is actually a very big overall big bull market, right? Unfortunately, when we're looking at the daily charts, when we're doing this here, we're seeing what? Just short-term movements, aha, right? And then we see here, big pullback, 50%, Hold 50%, ha ha ha. And then now we see this incredible, incredible big bull movement for the last two years out of this level here. Ooh, right? Ooh, what does that mean? Now 50%. Now, if that's the case, firstly, we can, if we want to start to develop and establish some sort of boundaries, trend lines, boundaries, there you go, boundaries. Um, boundaries don't work on my kids anymore. Especially when the oldest is to get, <laughs> turning 16. <laughs> um, it's like, <laughs> shut up, Dad. <laughs> and I still, they kick, still kick their asses. Anyway, um, that's why that's why I personally that's why I personally do boxing, guys. 
<laughs> and I show them my boxing videos. That way I'm like, hey, I still kick your ass, son. Doesn't matter how good you get. So I have to stay on top of my boxing game. Um, the S&P 500, big breakout. Where is this likely to go? Let's do, let's do, now let's do the projection from the high. Right, so that's the high point through there. That's that low point. So that's, that's the first leg up, high. Now I'm going to bring this this little doobie lackey here from the loader, hit loader there. Where's this likely to go? It looks like to me, to me, to me, to me, to me, to me. It looks like to me that the overall, now again, monthly chart, caveat, we could have a period of a few weeks or in a month of a bit of a drop here. Then, then the continuation, right? It can do that. It doesn't mean it's going to go straight up. Now it may, and the S&P 500 might just be based in here and we have a big move up to 6,000. Here we go, 6,000. Now that, that could happen, but just remember this is an overall pattern, right? This is a monthly chart. We could hold here and then the next month we have actually a down month overall. Ooh. And then we have another down month. Ooh. And then we base out for another month and then we get a big month. And then, ooh, right? <laughs> I'm just having fun with this, guys. So, guys, this is what I do behind the scenes, right? And then this is the stuff that I'm, I'm presenting with my with, with my coaching clients all the time. I do so many hours of, of analysis because I just love this stuff because I'm always looking for the next opportunity where I can be in maybe for a few months, you know, or maybe more to jump on that next really big move, right? Again, this is I was, I was sharing all this sort of stuff with my actual clients, um, my private clients. If you're interested in becoming a private client of mine and joining me on that group where every day you see the actual trading I'm doing, but then when the market closes, I'm sharing stuff like this with them every single day of the stuff that I'm finding. Um, then that second link in the description there, guys, click on that. I'll personally call you to see if you're a good fit from there. Um, I keep the group really small. Right now, there's only around about 15 people in that group, give or take. Um, when, when there's a lot of, when everyone turns up, there's only about 15 people in the group. So I keep the group really, really small. And what I do is I, I do my trading. And then when the market closes for the next hour, I'm doing stuff like this with them every single day to get them also ready for some opportunities that could be coming. Because guess what? One really good trade, guys, when you start to utilize options, a $10,000 position on one really good trade could start to develop 30, 40, $50,000, right? Especially when you start to jump on these really big moves. So, you know, that's why it's so important to watch because literally just a couple of really good, a couple of these trades per year could, could do, could, and trading $10,000 as an example, you could start to do six figures a year just from a handful of really good trades, but it's and but it's 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 looking for these trades, right? So, if you'd like to join me on that, as I'm on the hunt for the next big trade, and by the way, bit of a hint: there's many stocks right now, individual stocks that are setting up for that next big trade. Um, it's just so amazing, guys. And if you want that help, and you don't be missing out on these opportunities, and you want that help every single day then you may be a good fit for the coaching program, guys. Go to getjohnshelp.com, uh, fill out the application form, and I'll personally call you. So back to the regular scheduled program today. Um, so that's what's happening through there. So just remember, guys, that's an overall basis. But looking at that from an overall basis, it does look like that we could be getting ready now overall to see a 6,000 S&P Timeline? I don't know, right? Is it going to be this year? Is it going to be? I would say within the next 12 months, we're probably going to hit 6,000 within the next 12 months. Now, again, guys, I say that it doesn't mean we can't have a down month, right? Because this is a monthly chart. So just understand that in the context of things. Don't, with the market drops 5% this next week, you're like, oh, John, the market dropped. You said there it got 6,000. Hold your horses, right? Hold your horses. Think big picture. Think, I'm trying to give you the caveat so you can understand on the context because sometimes I know, I used to be that person, right? I've been trading the markets for 20 years and I used to be that person like, oh, this say, this guy said the market's going to 6,000. Let's jump on some call options right now. If it's going to happen this month. No, it probably is probably not going to happen this month. It's probably going to take at least six months, at least six months for this, for that target, I believe, to hit. It could be a month, could be two months, I don't know, but I say at least six months. On a caveat, I would say within the next 12 months, we're probably likely to see that happen. How it happens, I don't know. See what I'm saying here, guys? It gives you pretty, now to me, it gives me confidence to know that if I'm in a position right now, there's a massive probability we're gonna see 6,000, so I could put on a position, even if the market goes, you get what I'm saying here, right? So, over all this, what I've just set up with you guys, what is the one indice I haven't talked about? I've talked about the NASDAQ, I've talked about the Dow, I've talked about the S&P. What about the good old Russell? Ooh, right. Now, if you look at all these markets, what have they done? Up, down, 50% retracement. 
as you know, right, this here was that 50% retracement and the market has already gone from 50% and retraced to its all time high and broke into the new high. That's what the NASDAQ's done. That's what the Dow Jones done. This is the S&P. This is the NASDAQ. Guess what? Broke above its high, 50, 50 to 60% retracement and already, already retraced to its high and actually broke above to the new high. Dow Jones, same, right? 50% retracement, retraced to a new high and actually broke up to a new high. But what about the Russell? Ooh, remember I said before guys, I'm looking for the Dow Jones, I'm seeing this price action happening. Ooh, what about the Russell? Let's go look at the Russell. <gasps> oh, John, 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 over here, John. The Russell, the monthly chart, it's doing nothing what? Just going sideways. Oh, oh, how long has it been going sideways for? This monthly chart, oh, we're talking about two years. Oh, John, John, remember you said before, right? When the market does nothing for a couple of years, we're probably gonna break out and start to go for a big a big bull market. John, you remember that? Remember what happened on the, uh, John, do you, do you remember you told me, you remember you showed me what happened when Trump became elected? This market did nothing for two years and then we had a big bull move? Oh, John, John, John. Now I'm making fun of this, right? What is the, remember, what is this sideways move? What is this, this is now what? It's fuel, right? The market is showing us in plain sight by utilizing technical analysis. This is the most powerful tech, this is the most powerful things you can use to understand where the market's probably likely to go. The price action will tell you where the market's likely to go more than any other thing out there. Not the government, not the Fed, not the next FOMC announcement, because what is the FOMC announcement? Ooh, what's gonna happen this week? Oh, we're gonna, the market's gonna drop 20, uh, market's gonna drop 1% today, 2% today, because the, the Fed. This is a monthly chart here, guys. What's gonna happen over the next couple of months? Ooh, let's go have a look. Let's dig, let's, let's do a bit of di a dig deep, a, a, a dig deep TI. From low to high, what do we see? Ooh, the low of the vid, to high of the vid boom. Then we come back down. Ooh, 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 John, 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 50%. What does that mean? Strong trend, right? This is a very big overall strong trend here. Ooh, check this out. This is where it gets pretty awesome, right? Um, man, I'm having some fun today, aren't I? Had a good night's sleep last night, guys. I'm ready to go. <laughs> See what happens? I get like, I got like nine, and over nine hours sleep last night. I was so tired from such a big week. And then now, now I'm like, right, let's go, right? So, sideways. Now remember guys, if that's the case, that's the sideways. Firstly, if I, if I establish a trend line, the trend line would be that there, right? Let's actually make you a bit of extended to the, that, that's the probably the trend I'm gonna use, right? Which here or there, right? Um, now, if I look at this here, remember I said before, right? If you use an extension on, like remember the exact same, the exact same analysis, right? Low to high, this is that high, this is the low to here. That's that low point there. This is what? This is now the next low point here. So where is the extension? Remember I said before about the extensions on the Fibonacci extension on this overall big bull market. Where is it likely to go over the next couple of months? Well, where could I? This here looks like a good round number is 300. It's actually 310 or more on the Russell. Now remember, what has the Russell been doing for the last two years? Nothing. What's probably likely to gonna come for the next couple, next say one to two years, maybe even next 12 months. We're probably likely to what? Start a very good bull move. Ooh, how could you be? And then, and tra traders right now for me personally, right? And this is like, I'm sharing this with my, with my coaching clients. And this is why like, and then now once I understand this, I'm looking for a really good trading setup that, with, that meets my rules. Because if that's the case, this here, now again, guys, I need to, um, this is big picture. Now I understand this big picture. If we do start to really get a good bullish setup that meets my rules, there's a high probability that that could be my next big home run trade, right? Again, this is what I'm sharing with my, with my coaching clients. So to, if you actually look and see like the, the exact sort of setup I'm looking for and so on and so forth, again, you may be good interest. You may be a good um, caveat for my coaching program, that second link in the description there, guys. Or if you just like to learn the actual trading setup, this is big picture analysis here, but the actual trading setup in that trading course, guys, I teach you for free. So we see this sideways pattern, so we can see it through there. Right, now check this out. 
right? This is where it gets pretty awesome as well too. So we've done that there, but remember I said before, where is the high? The high is up here, isn't it? Now that doesn't look like much, but let's go to the daily charts. The high is where? The high is up there. By the way, that is what? Now, I'm not saying this is gonna happen straight away, who knows, but that's a 15% move. That's the high, that's, remember that, that's just the high. Remember I said before, if we go to say the S&P 500, what did the S&P 500 do? The S&P 500 did what? Let's go back to the monthly charts here for a minute. Monthly. The monthly chart did what? The monthly chart did hold here and then guess what? And then we actually retraced what? We retraced 100% of the move already back up to making a double top and actually breaking to new highs. Remember I said, so remember I said that before, right? The, 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 SM, the, the Russell has, is starting to make its way back up but hasn't even made a new high. Remember, where is the S&P Dow NASDAQ? It's up here, right? Because it's already made a big move. So the Russell is what? Starting to play catch up. And on, remember I said before, and then also on the back of what I just said there, we've been doing nothing for a couple of years. I wonder what's gonna come soon. There's gonna be a really big, strong trend on the Russell. And this is just, again, guys, everyone's focused on, should I say this? Once you understand this analysis, guys, you can keep a pulse on all these markets, gold and silver and the mining sector and cryptocurrencies right now, right? By utilizing these really, 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 really awesome techniques. Notice I'm using just techniques here, which is what really, understanding strong trend, Fibonacci retracements, that's all I'm utilizing, right? Understand then also understanding the, 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 the technique of, of, of price and time. Price is when the market's going up, when the market does nothing for a lot of time, especially for many years, that could be the next market when it does break out, we start to see a really big strong trend, right? Hence the reason why my most successful trade to the, this year so far, which generated multiple, multiple 100% return on my on my option trade was the gold trade. Why was that? Because you I went through this video, right? So that, see, it's the same analysis here. This is why guys like, out there, out there in the mark and in, in the in the in the stratosphere of trading, there's thousands and thousands of different methods and, and strategies. But one thing is true across all markets is what I'm talking about here. This is the foundations of understanding when the next big move can be coming, and understanding trend analysis. What is strong trend? Understanding different phases from price, using energy to time, building a lot of energy. And if we do build a lot of energy, just like when before Trump became elected, we spent two years of doing nothing in the market, all right? Or, now that's two years of weekly chart just going sideways. Obviously we did something, but it was just going sideways, building a lot of energy, and then suddenly Trump came elected, big bull market for 12 months, but just spent two, two to three, two, two and a half years, maybe three years, doing nothing. Of course it's gotta break out in a strong trend. Why? Because it's the concept, right? It's the concept of that. So anyway, traders, I wanted to share this with you. This is the one market that no one is talking about right now. Many people are not, because there's so many markets to focus on, right? It's like, look at gold and look at the Bitcoin and look at the AI stocks. And to me, I'm all about looking for these gold nuggets. What's the gold nugget? The gold nugget is one, the markets that not many people are talking about. Now, why don't, why don't many people talk about Russell? Because it's doing nothing here, right? Doing nothing. Guess what's gonna happen? When we break out, then what happens? Then the media starts to pick up on that. Oh, look at Russell, Russell's having a big move, right? But we're now getting a bit of a head of the curve. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen now. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen this week. But as we can see now, for me personally, I'm looking for an amazing high quality, really good bullish setup for, that meets my trading rules. If I do get that, guess what guys? I could be now in the mix of having a really good, this, this could be getting having a big breakout, especially over the next couple of months. Right, just by looking at this level here. Remember guys, this is a monthly chart, right? If I go to my weekly charts now, look what's happening here on the Russell. Oh, that's that, that's the ultimate high point up there. What, are they, what am I talking about? So that's that's the ultimate high point up. It's actually what? It's actually more like a 20% move to the high. Remember I said before, I'm just, I'm just, I, I just actually did that, that wrong. So it's actually a 20% move to the high just to get back to the high where all the other indices are what? Above their high. They've already made their very big move up, right? But remember, look at this here. For the last, 
for the, ever since basically the start of this year, for the last, what, six months, because it was December, it started in December, the last six months has done nothing. Oh, 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 John, 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 here's that one of those big massive sideways phases. What's going to come soon? Oh, are you ready? Again, guys, like this is the, sh this is the reason why, guys, the stuff that I teach you is the shit, right? It is the shit. And what I'm talking about here, guys, is that there's thousands of different indicators. And one thing I've just learned is that we can really hone down on the most powerful things out there that when they start, when you start to understand this and you start to see these things form, you start to jump on some really, really, really incredible moves um, out there. And by just by looking at, again, guys, I'm keeping on top of all markets. I'm keeping on top of individual stocks, right? I'm keeping on top of the commodity market, gold, silver, mining sector. I'm keeping on top of all these markets just by utilizing a, really just a handful of main things, which is, is it a trend analysis? What's the trend? Um, is it strong trend? Is it not strong trend? Are we in a price phase where it's been moving? Are we in a massive time phase? If so, what does it mean, right? Just mastering a handful of these things here, boom, right? Really, really, really simple here. And I'm not even talking about moving averages here. I'm not talking about indicators because you don't need them, right? The understanding of the foundations of how these markets actually work then you start to wrap it around, it could be pretty, pretty, pretty powerful there. So anyway, traders, that's it for me today. Um, there's, I believe the Russell is one of those gold nuggets out there, but amongst of, of the of the Russell, remember I said before about the Dow, right? The Dow could be setting up in the next couple of months. Look at gold, gold, it's the same sort of thing as well too. The individual stocks, guys, there's so many amazing things that's setting up right now. And I hope this just gives you some of the tools so you can start to look at these markets in a diff much different way as well too. So anyway, traders, hope this helped you out. Once again, guys, if you'd like to learn, if you'd like to get access to this stuff more on a regular basis, like a daily basis, and also see the things I'm doing, then you may be good for you may be a good fit for the coaching program. Second link in the description there, guys, or go to getjohnshelp.com, fill out the application form, and I'll speak to you guys real soon.